Hello my friends, this is a short video to show you the basic layout of the Sirius software. I'm in Sirius 1.3 uh, and at the top of the screen you see blue icons. Though these blue icons are where you create charts. You would create a new natal chart. I could add another natal chart to the list of charts I'm working on. I could create a progress chart, a return chart, a relocated composite or harmonic chart. What does chart mean? It means something with a new set of planetary positions, right? So a solar return has a new set of planetary positions. So you just click on it and you get that chart uh, that you request. So right now I'm looking at the birth chart of Antonio Vivaldi. In the upper right corner are all the charts I'm currently looking at. So let's go to Mozart. Uh, he's one of the charts I entered. In a different uh, video, we'll show you how you enter the data. You just click on New and you enter the data, read it in from file. Uh, we'll show that in a separate video. But right now, I just want to show you the overall layout. So if I want a solar return for Mozart, I click on Return, select Solar Return, accept the year, click OK, and I have his solar return. And it's added his chart to the list. So if I want to go back to Vivaldi, there's Vivaldi. If I want to go back to Mozart, uh, Solar Return, Mozart, Solar Return, uh, there it is. So it's that simple. You create your charts, and then for any chart, you select from the green icons what report you want. So if I wanted midpoint structures in Beethoven's chart, uh, Beethoven is one of the charts I have in my current list, Go there, select one of the green icons, the midpoints, click OK. Oh, well, I've got this reduced to have only direct midpoints because I was customizing it. Uh, those are just conjunctions and oppositions. There are only a few of them. I can right click and add in other indirect midpoint structures, and there are the tree diagrams. Uh, or whatever kind of information you want. Maybe you're into um, classical or Hellenistic information and you can select all these different things here. I'm not going to show you all the features. They're, they go <laughs> they go on and on forever. I like look at all the forecast features. Um, it's amazing. But there's the idea. Now you know how to use Sirius. That's it. You've got the whole idea. You just create your charts, select your reports. That's about all there is to it. Um, in the upper right corner it remembers what chart you've selected and in the lower right corner, it remembers what reports you've selected. So if I go back to Vivaldi's natal, it remembers that I have selected uh, midpoints and a wheel, and I can choose between those. I might have done that earlier. If I go back to Beethoven, I've also selected midpoints for him as well. Um, and I've, you know, any chart you've selected. I had selected a composite report before I made this video, and I had only looked at a wheel for it, so it just shows the wheel. So the idea is this, to review. Blue icons, create a new chart. Green icons, create the information, the by wheel, the tri wheel, the, for, the transit forecast, the interpretation, the astromaps, whatever information you want. In the upper right corner, Sirius remembers what you're doing. Uh, remembers what charts you've entered, and it treats all charts equally, um, whether it's return or natal. And in the lower right, it remembers what reports you've selected. Um, and that's about it. The yellow icons are for saving to file and printing. The purple icons are for interactive um, bi-wheels and tri-wheels, where you can move charts forward and backward interactively, do research, your settings, different uh, different things. There's uh, uh, lessons and encyclopedias and all kind of stuff in the purple icon. So the blue and green are your main ones, yellow for outputting, and purple for your interactive use, settings, research, and information, things like that. That's the layout. Now I can go on and on and on and tell you how you can do all kinds of cool things. Uh, I'll mention just one thing and I'll be done which is it's just as easy to do a harmonic chart of a natal as it is to do it of a composite chart or anything else. I'll show that in other videos, but this flexibility that's given by listing everything right here that you've been doing 
is very nice because you can just access any chart you want, whether it's a natal or a progressed or whatever, and select any report for it. That's it, my friends. That's a quick overview. I'm at about five minutes. So five-minute introduction to what the layout of Sirius is. To summarize, blue icons, create charts. Green icons, select the report, in other words, information, whether it's an interpretation, whatever you want. Yellow icons, save it to file, print, etc. Purple icons, other cool things like interactivity, settings, and so on. Uh, that's it. Um, there's so many things running through my head, I could show you very cool things, but this will go on forever. Quick little introduction, under six minutes to give you the layout. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. Hope that helps. Take care. Namaste.